go on dates. I don't do the boyfriend girlfriend thing. So you expect to just go straight into marriage? No, like I will date rotationally. But if I feel like they're not a provider, then you know they fall off. So you'll date multiple guys at a time, mm -hmm. and you don't think that has anything to do with the fact that none of them want to provide solely to you. Um. Gotcha, bitch. Get the French toast out of here. Lord, please don't say this the wrong way, but you know, I'm going to be real all across the board every day, all day. Every woman is looking to use a man. <gasps> Shocker. Oh my God. What? Yes. If your mama didn't tell you and your daddy didn't tell you, every woman is looking to use a man. Yep. I said it. Your little big sis said it. It is in our nature to look for providers, protectors, uh, leaders, teachers, producers. Yep. Every woman is looking to use a man. It's in our nature. Why? Because we need you to survive. I mean, that damn gospel song. We need you to survive. Yep. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. So, I came across a video recently and it's popped up on a couple of different platforms on my feed. Oh my God. So I tell you, man, first it was Vivica Fox. Damn, seems like that wasn't that long ago. Now, Lisa Ray. Now, I know both of them are on that one show. Um, I forgot the name of it, but I'm like, I know I reacted to it once probably a long time ago. I think that was back when Kevin Samuels passed because Vivica Fox was, um, uh, she didn't have very much as far as nice things to say about Kevin Samuels, man. We all know about that. However, Lisa Ray has gone viral because apparently even at her age, she still is demanding a man who is going to pay all of the bills. <laughs> yeah. Without further ado, let's go on and jump into it. So I came across this. Lisa Ray, 57 years old, says she will only be with a man paying 100% of her bills and expenses. <laughs> Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. <laughs> Lisa, Lisa. <laughs> you was bad back in the day in the 90s as Diamond in the Players Club. <laughs> but this is 2024. We damn near 40 years later, okay? You're supposed to have grandkids and be with your husband of 35 years by now celebrating your anniversary. What are you doing single? When you've had access to all of the men that you've had access to, what are you doing? What have you been doing? This is what happens when time is wasted and you think that you have forever to make moves. I know, and everyone else should know that your time is short. As we age, we don't look as good, feel as good, seem as good as we used to. And I don't want to hear y'all ladies slipping out in the comments talking about, oh my God, she looks good for her age, for her age. Put that on it because at 57 the women that get all of their bills paid 100 percent are called wives and if you're not by 57 chances are very slim and that's real it's like i don't understand why these women think like yo what's up with the 50 and 60 year old club bro you got i noticed that though it's a lot of attractive like you starting to see a um, because I guess, you know, as the years go by, you start to see, like, a lot of attractive women, especially the ones that were, like, in Hollywood or any kind of form of entertainment. Like, a lot of them that are in their 50s and 60s now, a lot of them are single as French toast. You know, I'm like, and if they were married, they probably divorced by now. Uh, but... 57 i'm like yeah and yeah she does look good to be 57 but yeah like he said you're 57 why would a man that can 
even afford to pay all the bills because man you brush you probably live in a certain type of lifestyle because lisa ray over here talking about paying all the bills like she broke or something like she living so modestly like ma'am i i like come on now let, let, let let's be real she 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 more than likely is looking for a second a seven figure man i would imagine especially in the circle she's been in bro yeah so when he say slim it's gonna be it would be slim for her just to find a regular dude let alone a man that can pay all the bills she need to scale back find you a man that you can rock rock out with for the rest of your years ma'am you damn near 60 you'll be blessed to see another 20 or 30 years and you really don't got much to offer a man at your age outside of companionship till you transition on it, crazy bro I tell you man these, these, these women nowadays bro like they 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 just throw common sense now I see why they say women go dumb when it when it comes to a comes to a man because y'all really have no common sense when it comes to dealing with men bro or because y'all y'all don't give a fuck how we think let's sorry for babbling let's keep it moving man because this shit is just it just annoys me the perfect man exists i don't know yet i have a man right now that spoils me but i don't want to date him why not he's five six i don't even want to touch him so oh, okay so yeah he's just buying me like cardi and i'm like thank you does the perfect man exist bro if anybody knows who this chick is and who the man that she's referring to please send this to him and so that way he can move on and find somebody that values him let's keep it moving so somebody said that providers are going to be more controlling yeah probably goes with the territory for two reasons one a provider can probably get any woman he wants so why would he want a typical woman that's for the streets he's not going to go for that yeah and mostly anything that you can give him he can outsource it if he can afford to pay all the bills and provide for you but you know they don't want to hear that part he's got he wants to upgrade okay a woman that like to be at home okay a mature calm woman that ain't into running the streets no more if she ever was second of all if you're making that kind of investment in a person you like to protect your investment you can't protect your investment with some wild woman out in the streets. Want to go on girls trips and put all her business on on on, on live and on the gram. You, you you cannot. That's your investment walking around doing some wild shit. You can't put up with that. So you women who want a provider, y'all ain't ready. Y'all are not ready because you want to be out in the streets. So just be out in the streets. Don't worry about it. Save all the providers for me, okay? Because all I want is to be at home with a glass of champagne in my hand, you know, cooking my family some lobster tails and some filet mignon and an apron and nothing else. Okay, you can't cook naked. Okay, an apron and some heels. Okay, so y'all already know how I feel about girls trips. That ain't happening. I don't want brunches. I don't want nights out. I don't want to bar hop with my girls. I don't have no girls. I don't even have any daughters. That's how much I don't like hanging out with girls. <laughs> Give me a provider any day. Thank you. They getting desperate out here, y'all. Damn, I'm like, ladies, is inflation really hurting y'all that bad? <clears throat> like, seriously. I want to know. Because is it just me, you guys, or does it seem like around the time inflation really started hitting, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, every woman, it seems like every other woman in the United States want a man that's a provider all of a sudden? But at the same time, y'all over here bragging about how y'all get over here, over here getting homes and y'all, oh, y'all, y'all need to pick a lane and stay there, bro. Cause ain't nothing adding up at this point. Jesus Christ, man. I'm like, and, and, and I'm really, I'm actually really good at math and y'all confusing the hell out of me. What kind of trigonometry algebra shit is this? In the big you gonna give me some money? No, oh, I told him, get out. I'm gonna let y'all know now, man. Don't ask me for no money. I don't give a 
with the new wave here, with the female talking about breaking niggas and breaking rappers and doing this, that, and the third. This is not that. I'm some motherfucker. I'm talking about full effect, man. I don't play this. Don't ask me for no money, man. Don't ask me for no money. I'm going to put your ass out. And I ain't calling you no motherfucking Uber. You're going to call your own Uber. Yo, you know it's getting bad out here when you got rappers kicking girls out because they over here requesting money. And you know what? My homie act that my homie that went to uh SummerSlam in Cleveland with me you should check out the vlog channel if you want to check that out. Uh he actually put me on to this rapper recently, so I know who he is now. Um I think this isn't the first time he's had dealings like this with uh, women, man. So it just goes to show you, bro. It's some women out here. They see women are the women are the real predators, man. Especially these kind of women that are specifically looking for men um, with resources, bro. Let's keep it moving. When men have more and more and more and more status, there should be a point at which it breaks, and then the more status doesn't lead to more women, and yeah. it never. Happens. 100%. 23 women want to sue this guy pretending to be Lionel Messi. Did you see this? Yeah. This one dude walks around looking like Lionel Messi and he had sex with 23 women. These women who want to sue him knew full and in well that he was married when they had sex with him. They knew Lionel Messi was married. So it's totally fine yeah. for them to have sex with a married man and to share that married man with his wife. But it's not okay that they had sex mm -hmm. with a man who pretended to be Lionel Messi and wasn't actually Lionel Messi. It's like one of the craziest things that I've ever seen. These women were willing to have sex with a man who gave them no money, who did not give them children, who gave them no provisioning whatsoever. They slept with him for one reason, because his perceived status that is the only reason and he's short it's the only reason that they slept with this dude and then you see that and then you look at all the studies from evolutionary psychologists and you're like oh it is true <laughs> that was pathetic you can't make this shit up you can't make this shit up y'all heard it i can't believe what i just heard all right, y'all, pay attention. Y'all see her smiling all big. Y'all know she, she's happy, right? Read the caption. She says, I'm healed now. Bring me another married dude with three kids and five sources of income. All right, boom, y'all see I get tagged, right? Read these comments. Bring me another married man who will divorce his wife when he meets me. Then I will leave him. Not married, but I live with my baby mama, and it's not that serious, man. With three kids and five sources of income. Bring me another married man who will take me on vacations with flowers for no reason. This right here is like a term. First off, I want to say women love competition. Not all, but a lot of women do. They like to see you as a man taking care of another woman. They like to see that. They like to see you just being nice to women, taking her on dates, bringing her flowers. And when they see you doing that for another woman, they want you to do it for them as well. Because a lot of dudes aren't doing it, bro. And it's just that simple. These women are hunters. They call this, it's like a term for it. It's called um mate poaching. This is a term used for single women that want to go find a married man or a man that's in a relationship so they hunt poaching means to hunt so what these women do is they just hunt men that are already taken it's weird but hey it is what it is I find it hilarious how a lot of women their love lives are consisted of being a mistress like they want to be a side chick they want to be a mistress they want their life to consist of drama and just being like a movie this is just how it is mind you there are a lot of them out here check the likes just check the stats 47.4 thousand likes with a 900 comments agreeing. It's funny. Yo, bro. This generation is so cooked, bro. They are so cooked. <laughs> what the hell is going on, bro? Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know when I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel. Unplugged Traveler link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.